Hello everyone, and welcome to the Timer Pit, your home for educational end timer videos. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I use Google Sheets to get my lesson plans ready each week. So I'm gonna start off by showing you what the finished product looks like. So this is my lesson, my lessons plans for each week using Google Sheets. So at the top, you can see I have the days of the week, and we are on A, B schedule at my middle school. The top, um, top row here, I have notes for whatever's going on at school that week. And then I break it down by sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. So this is what the finished product looks like. So now how do we get to this finished product? And that is what I'm going to show you next. So I went into uh, Google Drive and created a new Google Sheet, so brand new. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna go up to the top and type in lesson plans. Okay, next, I'm gonna go to the top row here and just put in the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, you don't have to do this, but I like things kind of clean and tidy, so I'm gonna go in and highlight the G column, I'm going to go hit shift and click the Z column, and I'm going to delete out these rows. So all I see is for the days of the week for my calendar here. So and then I'm going go in and just center them up, put them in bold, and then I'll increase the font a little bit. So step one is done. All right, my next step, I'm going to add everything on the left side here in the left column. So I'm gonna put notes. So if anything comes up during school during the week, I'm just gonna fill in this next row. You can make this any color you want. You don't have to do this at all. But this is what I do, just kind of separate the notes from my actual lesson plans. For me, like I said, I'm a middle school teacher, so I'm gonna put in sixth grade. You can customize this however you would like. I, I'm putting a space below between the two and I will explain why here in a second. So I got, now I got my three grades in. Same thing I did um, with the columns I'm gonna do for the rows. And I'm gonna delete all, all this extra, ac or extra stuff. Whoops, didn't hit the shift key. Give me a second to get back up to the top here so I do it right. Almost there we go. All right. Got them all highlighted. Right click, delete rows. Got that tidied up there. I'm going to go ahead and center it up. Make them bold. There we go. All right, very good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, so I'm gonna highlight row one. I'm gonna go up here to view and hit freeze. I'm gonna freeze one row, and then I'm gonna do the same and highlight column A, and I'm going to go to view and freeze one column. The reason why I do that, I'm gonna go back to my example here, is so, Obviously, when you start filling in your information, your, your lessons, you're going to have a lot of, lot of things. And so I can't see the end of the week. So if I scroll, there's Friday, but my 6th and 7th grade stays right there. Same with uh, the top. If I scroll up, everything, the Monday, Tuesday stays the same. 6th and 7th grade, 8th grade don't go anywhere. So that way it kind of makes things a little bit easier to read um, your lesson plan. So go back. So that is done with the next step. All right, a couple of last few things just to uh, make things easier for you with this. So you now you have your template for your lesson plans for the week. Um, so you don't have to keep repeating yourself. If you go down here to the bottom where it says sheet one right now, you click the little down arrow, you can uh, hit duplicate. So I'm go ahead and do that. And you now see sheet one and copy of sheet one both look the same. So you can go ahead and do that for, for all the weeks of the school year. 
So your template is good to go. And also what I do here at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and click the down arrow again and click rename. And I'm gonna change this to the first week of school. So for us this year, it's August 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 20th. So August 17th through the 21st. And I'll just go ahead and do the same thing for here. Rename, and I'll put in August 24th through the 28th, I believe. So the first two weeks of my lesson plans are ready to fill in. One other thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and star it. So when I go to favorites in my drive, they'll be right there. And I'll be ready to find this right away and all my lesson plans will be ready to go. The, the one last thing too, is the reason for the space between sixth and seventh grade. So I'm gonna go back to my example lesson plan. So you'll see here in this example, I have links here. And so it's a really easy way for me to uh, store my links that I use in my classroom or other websites and for me to go be able to go back and see what I've done before. Um, this has helped me a ton um, these past few years as I've been doing this to keep all my resources in one spot and easy to access. And you can see down here how I've labeled all the tabs the week of um, whatever week it was for that school week. So hopefully this will make your lesson plan uh, or making lesson plans a little bit easier. So like I said in the video, Google Sheets has made a huge difference in how I get myself prepared for school or class each week. It also gives me a place to put all my resources in one spot so I can go back and look at what I've done in previous semesters or years, which has made a huge difference. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching the video and I would appreciate any likes or, subscri or subscriptions to this channel. There will be many more educational videos coming your way. And until next time, see ya.